Hey booktube, it's book haul time again. I got my ticket for the long way round. I've been collecting stacks of books for a couple of months now and I thought, you know, I'd really like to put these away, but I probably should do a book haul before I do that. So then I know that I've already covered all those books in a book haul and then I won't forget. So I'm going to start with uh, a book that I found in a little shop. I was in Minneapolis recently and I walked out of a shop for something completely different, caught sight of this little place. It was a little hole in the wall place called the Paperback Exchange. And I think a lot of cities have these kinds of stores. They're just little storefronts that have a lot of mass market paperbacks and you can go in, most of them are used. And you can go in and either buy them or you can bring some and exchange them for credit and then buy the, you know, it's like it's one price if you trade things in and it's another price if you just buy them outright. They do have some hardbacks and they have some new things, but very few. Mostly it's just mass market paperbacks. I have been talking to a daughter of mine who lives in Alaska and her favorite book is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card and so we were talking about books and she said oh treason mom you, you need to read treason by Orson Scott Card because you love dystopia you love all kinds of sci-fi stuff it's got everything you will love it so I went in to this little paperback exchange and I found this so I grabbed it up I was able to find it on audio but I don't know that I'm gonna love the narrator so I thought Ultimately, I'm glad I have a little copy of this because I'll be able to pick it up and read it as I like. And we will see if I like it as much as she says I will. Also, while I was in Minneapolis, I hit several Goodwill stores. And at each one, I found a book or two. Starting with Everything for Us by M. Layton. This is, it says it's a bad boys novel, first time in print. I don't know, it's just new adult contemporary romance. One of those things that you can pick up and read and get through and then, you know, at the beach or something like that. And since I'm going to the beach in about a week and a half and I may never come home. Anyway, it'll be nice to have something to read. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. I don't know anything about this book other than I recognized the title. And I know a lot of people have read it, and I don't know if they liked it or not. I don't know that I've ever really listened to a good review of it. And I certainly cannot tell you the synopsis, because I don't know that either. So I'm not sure what it is. Don't know if I'll like it. Maybe it's way out of my comfort zone, but maybe that's a good thing. City of Dark Magic. This is by Magnus Flight, and I grabbed this because Katie at Effusions of Wit never reads YA or very seldom reads YA and she loved this book. It's a set in Prague and it has a whole lot of stuff going on having to do with magic and politics and intrigue and mystery and all kinds of things and I've picked it up in the big bookstores from time to time and thought mm, nah but this time I thought you know I might really like that. I've kind of been in the mood for fantasy lately Go figure, I never read fantasy. So, yeah, I thought I would grab it because it was 99 cents and why not? Daughter of Smoke and Bone was set in Prague and I really liked it, so maybe I'll really like this too. This was a find. It is The Crimson Petal and the White by Michelle Faber. I recently finished um, The Book of Strange New Things, which is his most recent novel, and this he wrote before that and it's it's a chunky book. I've looked at the synopsis for this and been kind of iffy on whether or not I would like it. But, you know, when I saw it in such a beautiful, pristine edition, I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. I picked up this copy of The Magician's Nephew because I'm trying to collect these editions. Actually, I think it's these editions. They're kind of heavy and they're nice. They're paperbacks, but they're kind of heavy. And I wasn't sure if I had The Magician's Nephew. I know I have several others, but I'm not sure if I have this one. I don't know. But can you really have too many copies of The Chronicles of Narnia? I mean, isn't there a niece or a nephew or a neighbor kid or somebody's son or daughter that is going to read these or that you want to put them in the hands of? You know, I don't think that you can have too many copies. So anyway, yeah, I grabbed this one. So if I already have it, now I have two. Man, this was a find. It is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I have long wanted to read this and never been quite sure if I would like it because I'm not big on circuses. This is an arc, 
and I went right by it on the shelf. I was looking at spines, and then I went back over the shelf and looked a little more carefully, and I thought, the night circus? Oh my gosh. Well, it's an arc, and that's why the cover looks different. This uh, is not supposed to be sold, and so shame on you, Goodwill, for doing that, but okay, you know. I guess the person that had it gave it to them, and so I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what the ethics of that are. I have to tell you on the front, it's got this little blurb and it says, um, this advanced reader's edition entitles the reader to unlimited admission to the night circus. And then it says, not for sale. Violators will be exsanguinated. <laughs> okay, I'm not violating that. I'm not selling this book. I don't know what that says about the people at Goodwill, but oh well. Overseas by Beatrice Williams. This is beautiful hardcover edition, and Katie at Effusions of Wit, again, had recommended this to me, which is a book about time travel. Um, you know, I think it has that feeling of the book A Winter's Tale, which was made into a movie uh, about a year ago, and it's that traveling over time kind of thing. I think it's got that theme uh, going on, and... So, I don't know. She said I would love it. I do have it on audio, and I, when I saw it in print, I thought, it's always good to grab a book in print when you have it on audio, because then you can pick it up and put it down and find your place and know where you were and not have to figure out the time, you know, the time measure on how many hours you got in or how many hours you have left. It's just nice to be able to have a print copy, and now I do. Could not believe I found a copy of The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. What a find this was yesterday. It's hardcover and, you know, it's Neil Gaiman. What else can I say? A lot of people have loved this book. And most recently, I saw um, Casey at a Basket Casey Reads. I think that's her name. Uh, did a review on this because she read it for the booktube a -thon. said she absolutely loved it. It's the story of a little boy who is orphaned and then raised in a graveyard by ghosts. So how can you pass that up? I mean, just that synopsis right there is enough to grab you and pull you in. So I have had this on my TBR for a long time, and now since I have a print copy, I have no excuse not to read it. So I will be doing that. The Edge of Never winds up all my goodwill finds. This is by J.A. Redmersky, and this is just new adult uh, romance. It's a story of a road trip. I didn't realize this book was this long. Uh, I listened to it a while ago, and then I listened to the sequel. I didn't like the sequel near as much, but I did like this one, except that the main character is kind of not very smart in the beginning of the book because she just gets fed up with her life and then she decides to get on a Greyhound bus and just go anywhere. She just buys a ticket. She says, whatever's leaving right now. Gets on this bus and meets this guy and he could be an axe murderer and she just does some stupid things. Like, starts talking to him and like, you know, is by herself. Really? That's so unsafe. So unsafe. But, you know, even the guy that she falls for says... I could be an axe murderer. What are you doing talking to me? And so, you know, of course the romance develops from there. So not a very good example for young women, but a good story nonetheless. <laughs> and lastly, I hit my local Ollie's bookstore. And if you've watched anything on my channel, you know how much I love that little discount store for books because their book section is amazing. And while it hasn't been as amazing in recent months and even maybe the last 18 months once in a while you know I always look because once in a while I will find something and yesterday I happened to find The Rosie Effect by Graham Simison. I had already found The Rosie Project a while ago at Ollie's so I since I had that one I thought I'd pick up this one too so now I have both I have not read either one but I again I have no excuse not to now since I have them both so this um promises to be a very, very cute story. Anyway, this is set in Australia, and I'm looking forward to reading it, and I'll let you know when I do. So that's the book haul. If you've read any of these books, of course I want to know what you thought of them, and so let me know. And that's it for now, for today. I will see you tomorrow. I'm Thanks gone. for watching. I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my wall. Me by my taco, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone.